So this guy Napoleon Bonaparte takes over France and says, I'm gonna wreck Europe, then Europe gets wrecked. Prussia's army is stomped at the Battle of Jena in 1807. Prussian philosopher Johann Gottlieb Fichte said, I know why we lost. Our soldiers think for themselves too much. So he got to work creating a whole new educational system, a free but mandatory government-funded public school system built on John Locke's concept of the blank slate and Jean-Jacques Rousseau's ideas of how to write on it. Horace Mann, father of modern education in the U.S., sees the Prussian model and thinks, hey, this is great, and thought to implement it in Massachusetts in 1837, where it spread to New York, the rest of the northern states, and all throughout the country. By 1918, every state required all kids to finish at least elementary school, while teachers required certification from the government to teach, as per the Prussian model. Its purpose? To train workers and soldiers obedient to the state. Don't take my word for it. Johann Fichte said, Education should aim at destroying free will, so that after pupils have left school, they shall be incapable throughout the rest of their lives of thinking or acting otherwise than as their schoolmasters would have wished. Remember that these are public schools. A school funded by the state won't teach skepticism of the state, especially if teachers are only allowed to have a job because of the state. The Prussian model was built on free public education, fragmenting concepts into subjects with fixed studying periods, defining for kids what to learn, how to think about it, and how long to think about it. A child should read without reading too well, else they can learn independent of instruction. Obedience to authority is emphasized, as independent thought is to be suppressed. At this point, it's clear that schools weren't meant to instruct but indoctrinate. Schools suck because your free will being destroyed sucks. The solution is clear. Separate education and the state.